All right, let's get started. Me and you having a little bit of a conversation. So I made the video discussing why I haven't been talking about Trisha Paytas on my channel. I did that, got your feedback, and I said I wouldn't make any more videos until I saw and consumed your feedback. Now, a majority of the feedback was like, yeah, Chris, you're doing commentary now, like just make videos, right? There were some other uh, comments in there, stuff like, you know, things about consent and everything, which I disagree with. Like, if I reached out to the President of the United States and he never got back to me, can I not comment on the President of the United States? So, when it comes to commentary, I disagree with that, but there was an overwhelming good response. Now, at the end of the day, this might still come back to bite me in the ass, but I live in Las Vegas and I am a betting man. I am hoping that this whole James Charles situation and seeing how everything got blown out of proportion, I'm hoping that it calms people down in the future if things are to come up, all right? But anyways, I wanted to chime in and just get this out of the way. So let's get started and let me give you my opinion on this situation between Trisha Paytas and Nick Cicado Avocado. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, some of the drama that's going on and take this mess and turn it into a message because there's always some lessons to be learned. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so some of the comments I got, a lot of you wanted to hear my opinion, my thoughts on this situation, all right? So there's a, there's a few things, all right? I'm not gonna go like, like it is, it is like objectively true that what Trisha Paytas did was screwed up. So first let's start out by she refuses to apologize, all right? She's refusing to apologize and I get that. I get that. Like when you're standing firm and you're like, I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not going to apologize for that. At the end of the day, the reality is she did a crappy thing to Nick. Now, I made an apology to different communities, to different YouTubers, and one of the people I apologized to was Trisha Paytas, all right? And something I teach people about making amends or apologies is it doesn't matter what you think you did, what matters is did it affect the other person? So while I still believe to this day that I was commenting on things that were public knowledge. At the end of the day, it did hurt Trisha Paytas's feelings, which is why I apologized. So to see her standing firm in this idea that she didn't do anything wrong, so she refuses to apologize, I think is a little bit ridiculous. And that's just my opinion. Like, I don't think everything um, is owed an apology. Like some of you out there, you apologize too much, but, if you hurt somebody in some way, just apologize. Just do it, like get rid of the ego and just do it. No matter how right you think you are, apologize for your part. Because at the end of the day, it is wrong to ghost people, okay? Like, here's the thing. Back in my dating days, right? Like back in the dating days, I would ghost women and it was messed up of me. It was messed up, all right? Uh, this was before I got into the whole like 12 step thing and making amends and everything like that. Um, but I've gone back and made amends to women I ghosted back in the day, like when I was going through my recovery process because it was messed up, right? Like a lot of it is because like if a guy's ever ghosted you, if a girl's ever ghosted you, a lot of it's because people don't like confrontation, at least in my case, I just didn't like confrontation. I'm like, well, maybe if I just tiptoe out of here, right? But it's messed up, it is messed up. And I think, I think it's a ridiculous justification to, to say that, well, everybody does it. Well, everybody does, like what? Like when in the history of mankind has that ever been a valid reason to do something screwed up, right? Because that's Trisha Paytas' logic behind there's nothing wrong with ghosting somebody because everybody does it. And her justification is 
Well, people have done that to me too. And I will say it all day, er day, all right? Be the change that you want to see in the world, okay? Like this whole tit for tat thing, oh, somebody screwed me over, so now I have the right to screw somebody else over, right? An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, right? Like think about that for a second. Like, like for example, for example, I have met, I've met people who, who like one time they like gave a homeless person like a sandwich instead of money. And then like the homeless person was like, oh, screw you, right? And they're like, oh, fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever give a homeless person anything ever again. Like, what? What? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like that logic. Just because one person did something to you or multiple people did something to you doesn't give you a right to treat other people in a certain way. Like at a certain point, we have to look at it and say, oh, how does it feel when people do that to me? Oh yeah, that feels kind of crappy. Maybe I shouldn't do it to the next person. You see what I mean? And like, those of you who have been following me for my channel right uh, for a while, like, this isn't just about Trisha Paytas. Like, one of the reasons I really wanted to make this video is for all of you out there, for all of you, because all of you, me included, we've all done this same thing. We've all let our pride and our ego get in the way of apologizing to somebody. Now, my advice for Nikocado Avocado in this situation with Trisha Paytas is it sucks, but it's what Trisha said, like, let it go, dude. Let it go. Like, you've said your piece, it's done and over with. I don't know Nick, never met the guy, so he might just make, be making videos because he's a YouTuber. He pointed out in his last video that he doesn't monetize or anything like that. But at the end of the day, he's gotta let it go. Because if I, if I sit around expecting people to apologize to me, like my life gets miserable, right? Like I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but Trisha Paytas was right. Now that doesn't give her an excuse to be a dick. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he needs to let it go. And let's let's play out this scenario. Let's say tomorrow morning, Trisha Paytas wakes up and she's like, oh my God, you know what? I was wrong. I was completely wrong in this situation. I'm going to make a public apology to Nikocado Avocado. Like how well do you think that would be received? How well do you think that would be received? She would get blasted. Like she has gone way too far down that road to do that at this point. And even if you look at Nick Akato's situation, like and how he would receive it, he probably wouldn't even believe it. But when it comes to apologies at all, it, it takes time. Like people have to prove it. You know what I mean? Like no, like no apology is worth a damn until you see how people change and what they do. Hell, I'll use myself as an example. For the last two months since I've come back to YouTube, I have steered away from speculating on a person's mental health. That was one of the main criticisms that I got. I haven't done it. If I talk about somebody's mental health, it's a fictional character, you know what I mean? Like, that's just what I've done. And there are certain things that I still agree and disagree with, you know what I mean? But I am working really hard at it because here's the thing too, to thine own self be true. And I have a video that I'm gonna be making about uh, James Charles tomorrow, but you are always going to have people who say that you haven't changed. I have been sober, I have been sober for coming up on seven years. Did you know did you know that there are still people who knew me before I got sober who says I have who say I haven't changed? Like think about that for a second. They say I haven't changed at all. Like one major change is that I haven't snorted any opioids lately. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this whole situation is a mess and I just want to talk about it because again, like if if you're watching all this stuff go down and you're not taking a step back at the end of it and asking yourself like how many times do you refuse to apologize? How many times do you ref refuse to take a look at how people are treating you and using that as a justification to treat other people? When you're looking at Nick Akato's, uh, avocado situation, how long do you hold on to resentment for, right? Expecting something from the other person. Because something I was taught a long, long time ago is that it's a lot easier for me to work on me 
than it is to try to fix the rest of the world. The more we place expectations on other people and hope for them to change, the longer that you and I sit in misery. You see what I mean? So this whole situation is a hot mess, but you picking sides, you trying to cancel Trisha, you taking the side of Nikocado Avocado, that does absolutely nothing for your life unless you're taking a step back and asking yourself, how can you relate to the individuals involved in this situation? And that's the goal of my channel, to help you start thinking about that, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get your name on these beautiful credits right here, uh, get some perks and benefits like our monthly Q&A, free copies of my books, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.